Welcome to Bordlandia Unboxed. I'm Carissa, and today we're taking a look at New York Zoo. New York Zoo is published by Capstone Games and designed by Uwe Rosenberg. I'm most excited about this game because I happen to be a fan of Uwe Rosenberg games and all of his puzzle laying fun. This week's promo code is ZOO. Enter it at Bordlandia.com during checkout to save an extra 5% on your order. We are also giving away a copy of New York Zoo. If you're interested in this giveaway, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, and comment below. Let us know what your favorite zoo is and why. Let's take a look. While I'm opening it, New York Zoo is ideal for ages 10 plus. Of course not a cake. And one to five players. I'm excited also because Capstone has been publishing some really fantastic games lately. And this one looks just as impressive. I am a bit judgy on boxes and this box is really, really nice. Um, I can survive shipping well. Uh, here we have the, the rule book. I mean, it's not terribly long. Uh, it's got a lot of pictures in it. So. Definitely doesn't look like one that is going to take a whole lot up front. It gives different scenarios as well, which is something I personally really like. I like examples. It helps me a bit when I'm reading the rules, which isn't something I personally do often. All right. Ooh. Oh, this is this is the zoo. Like this central piece of the zoo. It says New York Zoo on it. This is really thick cardboard. This is really nice. And it's got this really nice matte finish on it. The the pictures are cute. They're very cute. And I like the back of the box says this includes 112 what was it, 127 cute animals. Um, the player boards, this is where you're building your zoo. These are more of a heavy paper. Um, a little surprised at that, actually. So we have one, oh, there's lots of different ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them. Um, I love the indication on the bottom. It tells you how many players um, this is ideal with, I'm assuming, how many players um, you're going to want to use these boards for. Um, and it's really cool that it is also a solo play game, um, especially during a pandemic. Let's take a look at the pieces. Oh, there are more than just animals on these pieces. It is, it's got zoo parts to it. There's there's a carousel and a roller coaster, um, some food stands. So that's a little surprising as well. I know you're building the zoo. I just assumed it was all about animals and not other fixtures in a zoo. Give one a little punch. They punch out pretty nicely, actually. They're double-sided pieces. Again, Probably the same nice cardboard that this the New York Zoo panel is made out of. Ooh. The animals are wooden. Oh, and we've got the elephant. These are really nice. Let's take, take a look. This looks like a kangaroo. Those are pretty cool. They look good. They're like a little light wood piece. Really nice. I love when games come with nice, nice pieces like this. I mean, plastic ones are fine in, on their self, but I like, I like the wooden ones. They're just nicer. The penguin. This is really cute. Got some penguins. Don't 
quite know what this is. It looks like a fox, maybe? I think. Oh, yeah. They're right here. Without looking at the book at all. Um, it looks like maybe a meerkat, a penguin, a fox, a flamingo, and a kangaroo are the animals in here. Oh my gosh, that one's attached. They're all very nice. Just get a little look at each one of them here. Some flamingos. The pieces, the pieces are super nice. I really like the quality of the pieces. I really like the quality of the puzzle pieces. Um, it's very interesting. I didn't, um, again, realize that you were gonna be putting more than just animals. And I know that you're, it's puzzle laying and you're building an enclosed or building a zoo and working on getting more animals, but there's more to it than that. Um, the pieces are great quality. They punch out pretty easily. Um, the player board, I guess, would be the only thing that surprised me, that it wasn't along with everything else, that, like, hard cardboard. Um, oh, they are double-sided, though, and they are different on each side. So this side is looks like it's got the indicator for two on it, so possibly, I'm assuming, two players. And then this side has a four indicator on it, so for four players. So that tells me there are a lot of options for you to play with with player boards if there's eight of them and they're double-sided. So that's great. I didn't talk about these. Um, I don't know what this piece is for. It could be a first player um, token, uh, but that elephant is also on these pieces as well, so that's interesting. Yeah, I think that this is this is exciting looking. Um, the the board reminds me a little bit of Baron Park. Um, puzzly pieces. This uh, grid that you're filling out has that same feel to it, but it's it looks far more um, in depth than Baron Park, in my opinion, just taking a quick peek at this. You're building more of a park and you're trying to get more animals into your park. Thanks for watching Borlandia Unboxed. If you're interested in New York Zoo, head on over to Borlandia.com where you'll find great prices and some of the best customer service. Enter Zoo upon checkout to save an extra 5% on your order. If you're interested in winning a copy of New York Zoo, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell and comment below. Let us know what your favorite zoo is and why you like going there. Congratulations to our board game giveaway winner on our top five family games, Knit Takes Two. Reach out to us on our About page to claim your prize, and thanks for watching. Oh my god, I forgot the first thing I'm saying. Thanks for watching. Board thanks board. for watching for the unboxed. <laughs>